I sweep away all negativity. I cast away all negativity from within this circle so that it may be cleansed and ready for my work. I banish all negativity away from this circle so that it may be cleansed and ready for my work. All right. Cleansed and ready for my work. Sweep it away. Eh, one more time. Three is a good number. As I sweep all the negativity from within this circle. And then I may be ready for my work. All right. The circle is about to be cast, and I freely stand within to greet my lady and my lord. I call upon light and earth of the north to illuminate and strengthen the circle. I call upon light and air at the east to illuminate and enliven the circle. I'm going to have to re-say that one. <laughs> I call upon light and fire at the south to illuminate and warm the circle. I call upon light and water at the west to illuminate and cleanse the circle. I draw this circle in the presence of the Lady and the Lord that they may aid and bless me in my work. This is the boundary of the circle around me through the walls and floors above me and below me as the sphere of the circle is cast and consecrated to the name that their Lady and the Lord that works through their child, Sarah. This circle is charged by the powers of the Ancient Ones. Only love shall enter and leave. I call upon you, elemental earth, to attend this rite and guard this circle, for as I have body and strength, we are kith and kin, and we visualize a powerful bowl arriving. I call upon you, elemental air, to attend this rite and guard this circle, for as I breathe and think, we are kith and kin, and we visualize a soaring eagle. I call upon you, elemental fire, to attend this rite and guard this circle, for as I have energy and drive and consume life to live, we are kith and kin, and a mighty lion appears. I call upon you, elemental water, to attend this rite and guard this circle, for as I have emotions and my heart beats, we are kith and kin, and there is a leaping dolphin. Hail to the elements at the four quarters. Welcome, Lord and Lady, to this their circle. I stand between the worlds with love and power all around. My bay leaves. And actually, what I'm going to do is also write my intentions with what I have as a magical wand that I look for, like, as a pen. And so we're going to write my intentions that way. 
and uh, go from there. So love. Love. Health. Health. And prosperity. And you know what, just because again, I like the number three for certain reasons, we're going to go ahead and reconcrete my intentions into this, really thinking about what we're doing. We are focusing on love, health, and prosperity. All right. And again, we are going to use our voodoo magic. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to put the candelabra to the side. Whoa. Oh, and we're going to light our white candle protection. All right. Oh, thank you, everyone. So this is adding a touch of voodoo oil. This one's peace and protection to each of these candles to set our intention. And we're going to burn each bay leaf in each candle, the associative candle. And um, go from there. And this one is power and confidence. We're going to add some power and confidence as well. Apparently we need a lot of power and confidence. <laughs> All right. All right. So now the candles are lit. The circle is cast. Oh, these smell so good. That's the other thing I should say is they smell really good. Um, yeah, they smell amazing, actually. All right, and so we have that, that, and that. We have our cauldron. All right, first we have love. I set this new year with love.
And this is where you focus all your positivity on something that if it's self-love, if it's familial love, if it's relationship love, all the aspects that come with love Your intentions go into this candle. It is a fresh year for your love. Your love of yourself, your love of your family, your love of your life. And if you haven't found the love of your life, the hope. This next one is health. we focus on maintaining healthy habits, keeping a healthy mind, continuing to stay healthy and being good throughout. Looking at our habits, looking at the way we view things, healthy, just overall health too, staying healthy, exercising. Being outside. Healing. And prosperity. I mean, because let's face it, who couldn't use extra cash? Who not? Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, Fawn, that's amazing. I have so many candles going right now. All right. So we are going to start with love. And I'm actually going to kiss these and send them into the universe in flames into my cauldron. For love. Or health. Woohoo, that was a fun one. That one's still going. Woo! That one caught on fire. Don't try this at home. I'm pretty sure Jimmy is standing outside with the fire extinguisher. All right, so we're going to wait for them to cool and then we're going to finish bringing them. Actually, we can use the soot for stuff too. As well as prosperity. Oh, so close. Okay, now I really am just playing with fire. This one was where you that one. This one was health. We're going to leave it at that. All right. So we have set our intentions. We have burned our bay leaves. <coughs> And we have successfully done that. 
So now we're going to go ahead and close our circle. Um, I think we're going to let our intention candles burn for a little while, but I'm not going to film a bunch of burning candles. So we are going to go ahead and just, I would recommend letting them burn for a few hours or letting them burn completely through over the next couple of days. My intention with them is to see how far I get them tonight before I go to bed and then kind of go from there. I don't usually set kind of strict uh, timelines on that, but these are my intention candles for this year. So I do feel like burning them through is the direction I'm going to go in um, as far as that goes. So um, happy beginning of 2021, everyone. I know this is the full moon tonight. Um, and 2021 is going to be here quick. Tomorrow is the last day of this year. So we're going to go close up this circle. So as you can see too, that this can also be done relatively quickly. Um, you don't have to go through any type of super crazy thing or anything like that. You know, this can be done rather fast. Um, but I guess the setup takes some time. <laughs> I acknowledge my needs and offer my appreciation to that which sustains me. May I ever remember the blessings of the Lady and the Lord. Lord and Lady, I have been blessed by your sharing this time with me, watching and guarding me, guiding me here in all things. I came in love and I depart in love. Love is law, love is bond. Mary did I meet, Mary do I part, and Mary will I meet again. Mary meet, Mary part, and Mary meet again. The circle is cleared, so mote it be. Depart in peace, elemental earth. My blessings take with you. Depart in peace, elemental air. My blessings take with you. Depart in peace, elemental fire, my blessings take with you. Depart in peace, elemental water, my blessings take with you. Beings and powers of the visible and invisible, depart in peace. You aid in my work, whisper in my mind, and bless me from the other world. Let there ever be harmony between us. My blessings take with you. The circle is cleared. The circle is open, yet the circle remains as its magical power is drawn back into me. The circle is cleared, so mote it be. The ritual is ended. Blessings have been given and blessings have been received. May the peace of the goddess and the god remain in my heart, so mote it be. And we ground excess energy by touching the ground. All right. So again, that's a shortened version. Um, of the Grimoire for the Green Witch by Anne Mora. As you can see, mine is well loved. I highly recommend this book. So for those of you who want to know where I got my source from, I pull it from here. Um, and then I have other sources as well. But this is my main book of shadows as far as uh, resource of knowledge. Um, it's a good one as far as I'm concerned. Um, anyways, so that is tonight's circle. Thank you so much for joining in. Light, love, and blessings, everyone. New moon intentions are coming up. And, um, positive 2021. I'll see everyone on Friday. Light and love, everyone.